Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Empire Earth on the series today. G. I just had a bit of a false start where I couldn't get the briefing to play on uh, the next mission. So rather than introing, I'm going to jump straight to the briefing and then I'll say what I would have said in the intro in a minute when I'm sure the intro is going to play. Despite years of war and enmity, enmity? Goering admires the English nation and its people, mm -hmm. but they foolishly refuse to surrender. So his Luftwaffe is ready to initiate what will become their demise. Yes, Gehring is our hero, that's great. will melt the barbed wire and guns that stand between the beaches and London. Messerschmitt fighters will burn through the skies, can't melt steel we know the Royal that. Air Force down in flames. Once London is conquered, a new German town center will serve as the heart of the occupation. Mm -hmm. This center will be built upon the embers of Buckingham Palace breaking the spirit of the entire British Empire in one symbolic act. The ground troops of the invasion force are already en route to France by train from all across Europe. Additional resources have been made available to provide for sea transports and any emergencies, uh -huh. which are sure to arise. Yep. By the time the troops are ready, their landing site on the shore of Britain should be prepared. Against the roar of the Luftwaffe's engines, the dawn of a greater Germany begins. All right, so this, I uh, I am visiting family this weekend. As often seems to be the case with this series, I was playing this mission earlier today with the sound on and able to record, and I was having a real hard time. And I remember I mixed this and the prior mission up in my head a little earlier, um, but I definitely remember this one being uh, a tricky one. And I remember getting thrown a curveball. This is one of those where you, you don't get to build troops to give you an army up front. We had this a lot in the Greek campaign. You don't get to build any more troops, uh, which can be bad because I don't think this game is very good at it. And I don't think I'm very good at the game, uh, like the tactical movement of troops. Grand strategy is building up forces, moving them around, whatever. But the tactics, like micro as they would call it in more you know more recent rts this game's not good at it and neither am i but anyway we'll see because i was playing around with some different strats and having fun off screen and uh, now we'll sit down i think we'll be safe scumming a bit this is one where you can't replace your forces so mistakes where you lose a lot of forces um they can really kind of ruin your day but our objectives are to build transports to ferry the invasion force to england we will not be able to buy any other military units so use the rest of your resources to improve your forces. Use the Luftwaffe to clear a landing site for the invasion force and destroyed Buckingham Palace, one of the symbolic, one of the symbols of being able to find symbolic town center or capital on the site. I don't know what difference that would make. The job of softening up Great Britain for invasion fell to Luftwaffe. Hermann Göring, a former World War I flying ace and head of the Luftwaffe, promised to achieve dominance of the air and thus prepare the way for the invasion. The resulting Battle of Britain was the first major all air battle in history. The Luftwaffe had numerical superiority of aircraft. The British had developed some excellent fighters and additionally had the use of radar. Thanks to radar. Radar can't look into their hearts, sir. Sorry, Mr. Science Theater. Uh, which virtually eliminated the possibility of surprise attacks. The Battle of Britain began in June 1940 and lasted through the winter of 1941. During the Blitz, the fight of the battle, the city of London was bombed for three solid months in which no 24-hour period passed without at least one air raid siren going off, and usually many more. Numerous buildings, including businesses, factories, churches, schools, hospitals, homes, and even Buckingham Palace were damaged or destroyed in the raids. Germany finally had to discontinue the air war over Great Britain because the Royal Air Force was shooting down German planes faster than they could be replaced. All told, Germany lost about 1,700 planes to Britain's 900 or so. And the plans for an invasion had to be abandoned. Operation Sea Lion, which we present here, remained a dream to never become reality. Oh, it's a real shame that Nazi Germany didn't conquer England, huh? This is just terrible. Anyway, so be sure to scout out British with careful ARC reconnaissance before committing troops. Use the Luftwaffe to clear a landing area for your invasion force. You don't want to leave your men hung up on the beach. It's not with my thighs. Before. Radar stations will be guiding enemy planes to attack your aircraft, so you might want to take them out as quickly as possible. I don't understand the exact mechanic of the air uh, of the radar stations. This does seem, as we encountered, excuse me, during World War One as well, to be a scenario where the British just seem to have infinite resources and to send infinite airplanes after you. So I think destroying the radar installations might somehow affect their ability to send infinite waves of planes. 
uh, use your resources and troops wisely, for there will be no more. High Command is already preparing for the inevitable conflict with the Russians. If you get to build transports before your, all of your invasion troops arrive, you can place some of your men inside the fortresses. And don't spread your, force, your troops too thin. They could be treacherous in enemy territory. It will fare better if you keep a careful eye on everyone. All right. I need to do some editing there. The Luftwaffe is poised to tear apart the English coast. Tear them apart? By the time our land forces arrive, the route to London will be as harmless as a garden path. Mm-hmm. Sure thing. Right away. All right, so we'll throw down a save just to get it going here. Um, this is the last German scenario, so we don't want to cut, hold anything back on spending civ points. Uh, but I've surprised myself off screen and what civ points seem most useful. Like as soon as I land our troops in England, we just had infinite waves of attacks coming after us. I think we need to do a lot of damage before we land anyone. Uh, so it's weird. Like you would think I would want to spend, we've already spent a lot of points on tanks. Like I think anything we build with tanks now, like the least, the cheapest thing we could do for them is 15. Um, bombers, maybe we can get them to be better. Flight time, I don't know how much good that's really doing us. Um, because I've, I've only come to understand more recently that flight time... Like, when their flight time runs out, they return to base, they don't crash. It's just longer, you have longer to give them orders before they stop following orders and just come home. But actually, I think f what I've kind of seen off screen w is useful is... We only really have, we have pretty small navy here. British have a very small navy too. I don't know why they have any navy at all considering the last scenario, but they do have a navy. Uh, we have like five anti-aircraft frigates and the rest are, we have two, fr two frigates and two battleships that actually can attack land. So the first thing I want to do is get the range up on both. And then I think the attack up on both and infantry ranged armor attack and range just trying to think what else we can do with these points galleys transports and subs attack plus range i guess i increased my subs yeah in a previous mission which I kind of regretted it now. Siege weapons and mobile AA are actually pretty important here. I gave them attack and range. I think I want to give them... I want to give them hit points or rate of fire. Because I just, like, what, what was happening off screen was I landed our troops, and that's like infinite waves of bombers would come in to just destroy them immediately. It was really pretty frustrating. So, this is siege weapons too, so, area of effect damage seems weird for anti mobile AA, but I guess they probably don't get a bonus from that, but they probably get rate of fire. Then hit points is eight. Maybe we wait. Maybe we wait. Let's throw down. We'll save here just so that I don't have to respend those points because we do know, of course, that I can just go back to the menu and restart the scenario and those points won't be spent. So, All right. So first thing I want to do is get our Navy concentrated in one place, even though there's these guys are these guys are anti uh Aircraft, there are reasons to keep them where they are because they'll assist with stopping bombing raids from coming here. I think I'm going to upgrade these golden wood. First officer here. Setting course. But our resources we have are really just for upgrading troops. We can't build new ones except for transports. Bridge here. 
and it feels weird, but like I ended up spending all sorts of resources upgrading the Navy. And it didn't feel wrong. Like I don't maybe I should have made my ground troops better, but once your ground troops land, they're super vulnerable and I feel like I need to get the navy even better. Oh, those are, uh, First officer here. those are mines that are visible. Setting course. So I want the range to be maxed out on all my guys that can attack land. I don't know that I'll att upgrade everything else. Because I'm, I'm trying to save some gold for whichever ground troops require gold. I spent resources last time also trying to upgrade bombers, but they just tended to get killed. Somewhere over here there's a stray submarine. There tends to be a submarine I don't find. Maybe I did find it. There's only three submarines and they're not that useful. But we will have a few boats that show up that we need to deal with, so. Did we find all this? Part of our invasion Part. has arrived at the rail yard south of Paris. The ground commander is still en route. Who's hurt? I don't... I, I hate to give stuff away, but like some of my troop movements are based on the fact that the... We'll occasionally get attacked by, attacked by French resistance, which is sort of annoying because... You can't build defenses. We have a little bit of all the resources, but no stone, so we can't build just good old-fashioned anti... You know, you just can't put defenses at the places where I expect them to show up. So we're going to start by blowing up. This is, these guys are going to be annoying, and they're going to be bothering us the whole time. Artillery. They don't respawn or anything. I'm not really sure what the deal is with the enemy ground troops. They they have a lot of them. Sometimes it seems like they respawn, and other times it seems that they don't. The French resistance has staged an ambush. Yeah, there's a couple places that that can happen. We can't upgrade them. So we can have German troops advancing up and killing them, but yeah, these guys, did I even send them? I don't know. So they killed my villagers, it looks like? Yeah, they killed some of my villagers. I don't know. Try to do too many things at once. So they are all going to get killed, so that's important. Yeah, I don't think we'll be taking... Oh, there's a, and there's a mechanic later where you can use spies. But I don't think we'll be taking over... Um... Yeah, see, we got, a, we got a cruiser, like, uh, a Bismarck already almost destroyed. Remember that the land invasion will need transports to cross the channel. All right, so let's get some transports built before we can run out of space. First 
officer here. Bridge here. Of course. Attention on deck. But I'm just trying to sort of get some uh, nuisance guys over here dealt with. Our main thing is we find these um, radar things, we have to take them out because I think they control... What we haven't seen yet is bombers. Bombers will come out and blow up all of our shit. Underway. It's annoying. Here. I don't know that these can produce ships, but I just I just want to get rid of them. We have planes coming over. These are fighters. They're not going to do anything, but right now it's because I'm not trying to use my bombers. I have quite a few planes on shore, but I'm not using them for anything yet. We're slowly getting some healing. So far, so good with this. Okay, there's still French guys here. I guess I didn't realize these guys uh, never got taken out, so let's... You guys come over here. And... Is this a new attack? Yeah, it's a... okay. This whole French resistance mechanic is really irritating. to do anything about them, I wonder. The anti-aircraft guns, I mean. Attention on deck. Bridge here. Attention on deck. Setting course. Seems like they may be out of range, unfortunately. Alright, so, no, there's a, so I need to blow up this minefield first, but there are, um, this is, part of this is, like, getting a landing area going. Ah, the Advision's ground commander has arrived. Welcome, General Rommel. Oh, well. So some of you guys probably got hurt. Hold on, see, it's just there's so much shit going on at once. There's probably bombers attacking my planes now. That is what it was. It was uh. Bridge here. Setting course. Attention on Bridge here. First officer here. You can't hit it. I mean. I don't understand how it took damage if I can't hit it, but... Well, whatever. Let's have you guys attack this. Okay, it's bombers again. Bridge here. Flooding new officer here. Bridge here. 
So I really want to take care of those capital ships because I can't replace them. Can't replace any of these guys, or the capital ships feel more important to take care of than just every dude, you know? I don't want to launch these fighters yet. Just trying to get guys up here to the hospital, because I only have one up there. These chain home stations feed vital information to the British defenders. Okay. If enough are destroyed, they will never see our forces coming. So this is those guys being useful. We just shoot them, please. Battleships do a lot more damage than these cruisers, but they really seem to prioritize cruisers as targets. You have to destroy a certain number of these radar centers, and then I think the RAF might just stop which would be very much desirable, let's put it that way. It's like two cruisers is gonna beat this faster than one battleship can beat a concrete tower. But not by much. Yeah, I don't know if it cost if it's costing the British anything to just be losing these fighters. Because the thing is, I'm not sending any bombers right now, so that's normally when they become a, a, a problem. Here. You stay put. Let's have you come down here and start getting repaired, because that could take a while. We'll have these two guys with some anti-air backup heading up this way. Because I just want to creep around. Oh, see, there's one right there I could be working on. I want to creep up the coast here and deal with uh, whatever I can find up here. Here's uh, fighter planes. Bombers will start coming over here and being a harassing force, too. But I can't build more anti-air. I have villagers, but they can't build anything except for... Like, I, ch I checked. The only thing they're allowed to build is the settlement that I'm supposed to build over Buckingham Palace. I even built the settlement and then had them try to gather resources, and the game had a special message. Like, I had a special message from, like, Herr German narrator commander guy that said, These are specialists and engineers. They are not here to gather resources. Make do with what you have. Which I found mildly surprising. Oh, you didn't end up being part of uh, Group 3. Interesting. I might want to keep you there anyway, though, because you're being useful. Hold on. Wait. Stop. On hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get too close. Because they can outrange these towers. Bridge here. 
There's Buckingham Palace. Or that's not Buckingham Palace, that's Tower of London. So you guys are supposed to be group four. I'm gonna keep you together. You'll be useful later. But yeah, that's gonna be slow going at the beginning. Like I found it really disadvantageous to be breaking out planes or bombers because they just planes or bombers, pl like bomber planes, because they just summon infinite legions of British air. Whitaker. Ready, sir. Stand for. Plenty of troops in these areas to stop us from uh, hopefully getting overwhelmed by um, Roger. French resistance guys showing up. Oh, just go down, would you? No. Ow. It's so irritating. Because I can't rebuild any of this stuff. I mean, it makes sense the French would be undermining us from behind, but, uh... Gotta be careful, I don't want to lose any of these uh, cruisers, but the more damage I can do- oh wow. Look at how much stuff's coming. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we actually have to pull them back. At least I have to pull that one back. I want to try to do what I can as far as destroying any stuff, including... I want to blow up any anti-air uh, or radar installations that are up here. I think, I, I'm not sure if they have a huge number of troops or an infinite number of troops, but if it's a huge number of troops, all of this is useful. Just killing swaths of infantry with battleships and stuff is useful. Try not to lose. The French resistance has staged an ambush. Sure. I think we got this one. They didn't choose a very good spot this time. The French troops are just way... Like, they are actually set for a, a higher level, an earlier level of tech. Specifically so they'll be kind of harmless. They kind of blow up these transports all day as long as there's nothing on them. Attention, attention on deck. 
All right, so let's get you guys up here. Again, I'm doing as much damage as I can to these shore defenses. I thought I said, yeah, okay. Ready, sir. As you command. We don't need all of you guys orders. here. Some of you can hit up. I think you must have gotten hit with um, artillery or something. I haven't saved in a while and I'm getting nervous about that. I think I'm going to be saving periodically just to avoid losing boats. That ended up being a decent time for a save, I think, and I'm going to call it a video. When we come back next time, guys, I know this, this is going to be really slow going. I read, a, I even read something where you can win this game, this particular mission, really quickly if you do a specific thing. But I'm trying to figure it out for myself, and I'm trying to take it pretty carefully. It is, after all, the final defeat of the British Empire. Kind of a big deal. Catch you guys next time.